15 years ago, my life changed. I entered the avid realm of no limits. At the young age of 13, I was attempting to figure out where I truly belonged when Mrs. Howell, my first avid teacher, rallied around me and pushed me to break away from the broad junior high population. Mrs. Howell possessed limitless empathy and had unfailing expectations for my future that I didn't know were possible yet. While I didn't quite understand AVID or why I was selected, I allowed AVID to become the composer of my story. Fast forward to high school. Our AVID senior class of 2009 proudly dressed professionally and greeted distinguished visitors who came to evaluate Berkner High School as a national demonstration site. I still did not fully comprehend the magnitude of AVID, but that day I finally understood I was a part of something bigger than my school, bigger than Richardson, and bigger than me. My high school AVID teacher, Mrs. Swim, was just as influential, serving as my support, my mentor, and my inspiration for my high school years. She freed me from fears that held me captive fears that could have limited me and steered me away from graduating from Texas A&M University. <laughs> Instead, now, I had a firm foundation for my future. Now picture my first year's teaching third grade. I was working late into the nights and consistently dreading Mondays. My heart longed for more. I knew it was time to continue constructing on the groundwork that AVID had helped me lay piece by piece. I wanted to become like the teachers I admired most. I wanted to share those endless opportunities. Once again, I needed AVID. Through AVID summer institutes, PATH trainings, district facilitated trainings, coordinator PLCs, and workshops, I have learned that the most impactful strategy for me as an AVID elective and Excel teacher must be relational capacity. Mm -hmm. Relational capacity leads to students stopping by to see you after school. It provides that extra granola bar for the student who skipped breakfast, and it allows my smile to shine as a beacon of hope. In addition to relational capacity, through real-life learning experiences, AVID students get a taste for what their future holds. When one of my former AVID peers came to speak to my classes, students' eyes lit up as they encountered creativity that comes with developing mobile apps and opportunities for careers with coding. Moments such as these are guiding our AVID scholars to be the future engineers, doctors, and attorneys of the world. Our call to action is not simple or easy. As educators, we bear the enormous responsibility of molding our students, laying foundations, and building unbeatable academic teams. We encourage the discouraged, we engage the disinterested, and we create a safety net for students to escape dysfunctional homes. We take on all roles as AVID teachers. We cheerlead, parent, coach, counsel, and love with all our hearts. We do these things because we are AVID. <laughs> Today, 15 years after my AVID journey first began, I teach in the same school that raised me, no longer seeing AVID through a student lens. Instead, now, my perspective allows me to view my classroom as the space where limitless hope is brought to life. Every day, I wake up exhilarated to teach. I am liberated from the hurdles of my past, and I will confidently confront what is yet to come for my students. At the age of 28, I never envisioned my career taking me to places such as participating on the AVID alumni panel at this past year's national conference in San Diego, or sharing my story with remarkable educators in this AVID Summer Institute today. The limitless capability of AVID continues to empower me to break barriers, and I'm just getting started.
I am proud to say that AVID is my past, my present, and my future, because AVID is limitless. Thank you.